Thomas and the Guard. Thomas the Tank Engine is very proud of his branch line. He thinks it is the most important part of the whole railway. His two coaches, Annie and Clarabel, agree with him. Annie can only take passengers, but Clarabel can take passengers, luggage, and the guard. They are both old and need new paint, but Thomas loves them very much. As Thomas and his coaches run backwards and forwards along the line, they sing songs to each other. When Thomas starts from a station, he sings, "I'll come along. We're rather late. I'll come along. We're rather late." And the coaches sing, "We're coming along. We're coming along." They don't mind what Thomas says to them because they know that he is trying to please the fat controller, and they know too that if Thomas is cross, he's not cross with them. One day they had to wait for Henry's train, which made Thomas very cross. How can I run my line properly if Henry is always late? He doesn't realize that the fat controller depends on me. Thomas whistled. He wanted to leave, but he had to wait for Henry's passengers. At last, Henry came. Where have you been, lazy bones? Asked Thomas. Oh dear, my system is out of order. No one understands my case. You don't know how I suffer, moaned Henry. Rubbish, said Thomas. You're too fat. You need exercise. Lots of people with piles of luggage climbed out of Henry's train, and they all climbed into Annie and Clarabel. Thomas had to wait until they were ready. At last, the guard blew his whistle, and Thomas started at once. The guard turned round to step into his van, but Thomas had started without him. He waved his red flag to stop Thomas, but he was well on his way, steaming out of the station. Come along, come along, puffed Thomas, but Clarabel didn't want to come. I've lost my nice guard. I've lost my nice guard. She sobbed. Annie tried to tell Thomas what had happened. We haven't a guard. We haven't a guard. She said, but but he was hurrying and wouldn't listen. I'll come along. I'll come along. He puffed. Annie and Clarabel tried to put on their brakes, but they couldn't without the guard. Where is our guard? Where is our guard? They cried, but Thomas didn't stop till they came to a signal. Bother that signal," said Thomas. "What's the matter?" "I don't know," said his driver. "The guard will tell us in a minute." They waited and waited, but the guard didn't come. "Peep, peep, peep, peep. Where is the guard?" whistled Thomas. We left him behind," sobbed Annie and Clarabel together. The driver, the fireman, and the passengers looked, and there was the guard running as fast as he could along the line. He had his flags in one hand and his whistle in the other. Everyone cheered him. He was very hot, so he had a drink, and then told them all about it. I'm very sorry, Mister Guard," said Thomas. "It wasn't your fault, Thomas," he replied. "Look, the signal is down. We can go. Let's make up for lost time." Annie and Clarabel were so pleased to have their guard again that they sang as fast as you like, as fast as you like, to Thomas all the way. They reached the end of the line quicker than ever before.